So this will be a quick video. I was doing some more work on making a file system for my Philips Wiz light bulbs and I had to do some network diagnostics to make sure things were working as they were supposed to. And I ran into an issue and had to pin down what was causing it. Was it 9front or was it the light bulbs? So according to what others have found, these Wiz bulbs will respond to a broadcast UDP message on one port but reply back on a different port. Uh, Plan 9 and 9 front have a like TCP dump like program called Snoopy. Um, but it's kind of overkill for what I need and I don't really want to put in the effort to filter out the packets I'm looking for. So instead I'm just going to use uh, Listen1. I'll put a link down below for my other video explaining Listen. Uh, but what I need to know is if my code to send a broadcast packet is working and if my code to listen to responses from the bulbs is working. So right now I'm running on a Pi terminal I have set up, a little demo Pi. And I'm going to have it listen for broadcast messages coming in. So I'll run aux, listen one. I'll give it TV, which means run as user and do verbose, so it'll setting out a little message on the screen every time it gets a packet. So it'll be listening for UDP packets coming from anyone on port 38899. And you have to give listen a command to respond to messages with, but since I don't really care, I'm just going to feed my stuff to echo. And everything in this window is just a Rio running off of the Raspberry Pi server I have running. And so it's going to listen for the messages coming back from the bulbs. So verbose output again. UDP packets coming from anyone. But these responses will come back on 38900. Zero, zero. And my first little program I made up here, I found some people talking about the messages the bulbs wanted to hear, so I found one. And for dial, I'm just giving it the broadest of broadcast addresses, and it just sends out that packet. So let's test it out here. And over here we can see that the terminal did hear the broadcast packet. And the server's getting responses from the bulbs now. So this registration feature on the bulbs like will set them up to keep pinging out messages for the next few seconds. But eventually I was able to capture those and actually get the messages back from the bulbs too, along with what IP address they're coming in from. So the reason I ended up having to do all these little diagnostics was because I was trying to find out if my ping was going out because the bulbs would never reply back. And it was because one of the versions of this message I found said you could set the register value to false um, and it would work. Uh, but in my case, it didn't. I had to actually turn it to true, which I'm not sure what it does for the bulbs. Um, but it works with true, but not with false. And that's why I had to do all this testing. And that's it for now. Uh, my next step is using Ninefront's JSON library to format and parse the data going to and from the bulbs. And on the hardware end of things, now that I got all my stuff out of storage, I'll be rebuilding my entire Plan 9 network. So in the future, I'll be doing things on one big network rather than this like small little demonstration network I have. So I'll be able to do a lot more bigger projects. And uh, until then, have fun.